Hi, we're back. It's been a while. <laughs> Apologies for the delay in how long we've been to record. Um, the truth is, my whole family, uh, except for my son, we, we all got COVID. Yeah, we're all right now. Though. It was horrible. It's a little over a month since I had it, but it still affects me now. All my arms and my legs are really weak, but we're over it. We, we're getting there. Um, I'd like to give a huge thank you to all the new subscribers, all everyone who's, uh, who's been very kind in giving us information, giving us uh, suggestions, and you guys are amazing. Thank you. It's fantastic. Like seeing all of your comments and all that, all the kind of stuff you have to say, it really does make our day. So thank you. It's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Um, we do want to give a special thank you, but we'll do that when we get to our destination. Um, we are out again, looking for more mushrooms. In the last video we went this way. But this time we are going this way. Um, one of you in the comments, there's been so many nice comments. I, I know. I apologise, I can't remember everyone's names. But one of you suggested that you like to go to a pine forest. You always find some nice mushrooms around there. We have a pine forest about a 10 minute walk from here up a lot of steep hills. <laughs> But when we get there, we'll bring you guys back and then we'll let the adventures begin. I am just to let you guys know, as you can see, we're in the forest. We have arrived. It is it's late afternoon. It's around 3, 3.30 in the afternoon, something like that. It starts getting dark around about 4 p.m., 4.30. So we've cut it very fine, very, very fine. But if you hold this. I have too many things in my hands. But we have brought a light with us. This is quite a bright light. And as you can see, we can change it from 3200, uh, 3,200 lumens right up to 56,000 so we can go to a nice white light or to a more of a yellow light and we are going to use that <laughs> we are going to use this to try and cast like an early morning sunlight onto a mushroom like there's a mushroom right here so if oh we, my god yeah and there it is it's a bit broken but it casts like a nice yellow early morning sunrise kind of light we're still looking for mushrooms at the moment, but before we go any further, Grace wants to give a special thank you. I'd love to give a special thank you to Sean because he emailed my dad. Sean is from Ireland and I really want to say a huge thank you to Sean, honestly. Because he sent us this for free. Now in this, is an extremely lovely flash gun and now we can both do macro photography and other photography and have our own flash guns each and that really does mean a lot so thank you so much Sean. Yes my flash gun as you guys know it works on my camera but it does not work on Grace's. Whereas this one will. This one does. Honestly your generosity is so so kind. Honestly thank you so much we I can't tell you how grateful we are. When we opened it, Grace almost cried. Yeah, I did. And it, and that made me almost cry. We were like a pair of saps just tearing up in the car. It was <laughs> it was amazing. Honestly, thank you so much. And there it is on the camera. There Good you go. to go. See, look at that smile. You did that, Sean. Thank you so much. Honestly, it's we truly are so grateful. Mm -hmm. So this yeah this is what i was saying the amount of comments and kindness and everyone being so supportive it really does mean so much in when we recorded the last video i think we had something like 87 su subscribers around there as of today before we 258 came, 283 200 and what <laughs> oh was it 258 actually yes around there so our subscribers are going up so fast thank you so much guys and the views is phenomenal it's amazing 
But anyway, that's enough of us blabbering on. We're going to go out, keep hunting for some mushrooms and try and get some more photos. Um, I have brought the extension tubes. If we do find something that I think would make a good macro photograph, we'll give that a go too. But I better go and join Grace because she's more eager than I am. <laughs> so let's go. We've been blessed by the mushroom gods. Oh, wow. Oh, and there's some on the tree further back there. Oh, my God. Oh, Amber look there. today. Oh, this is perfect. This is perfect. Look at these. Now, oh, these so are perfect. I wonder, will the light shine through them? Have a look underneath. Yeah. It does? Yes. Oh, I might be able to do a bit of light painting with a bit of luck. The best thing about mushrooms. Banksy. Just wash your hands. Yeah, I will do. Oh, look at that tiny one by there. So this is perfect. Um, I think we better get set up. And as you can see, the light is already dropping. It's only been five minutes since I recorded the last segment of the video. Look but at that um, tiny one. I'll get set up and then we'll get some photos. I'm and gonna get a photo of that one, don't we? And then we'll keep travel, uh, keep looking around the area for more. This is awesome. Good find, Grace. I, yeah, I spotted these. I was just walking because I remembered like this area from last Sunday because I came up here with some friends. And then I saw those and I was like, we've been blessed by the mushroom gods. <laughs> Perfect. So, let's get set up then. I think I'm going to photograph that one down there. Okay. You go get ready, I'll go get ready, and we'll bring everyone back. Indeed. Okay, I'm using my light so hopefully you guys can see me. Um, Grace has taken a photo of this mushroom here. Oh, I need that lighting for the mushroom so I'll make it look perfect. Okay. That's and it without any lighting. That actually looks good though, You once that's edited. But if this has like some warm lighting from over the top, it could, you know, make it look more like, you know, Before nice. I do that for Grace okay. though, I am set up right here. As you can see, it's very dark, you can't quite see, but I'm going to cast some light to get a nice shot of the mushroom. And when I'm done, I'm going to cast light straight from the top like this and try and do some light painting in Photoshop. Oh my god, look at those ones by the... You're talking about the little baby ones over there? So, no, no, no. So, okay. Oh, underneath, I see them. I, that, that, just move this, that as a photo. Okay. 11 out of 10. Okay. Let me try and get this shot first. Okay. I'm so set I will up. put the light down, turn it off to save on the battery. Oh wow, look at that. Sorry. That's now, <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast, hopefully try and balance the torch here. Actually, that seems a bit too bright. Hmm. I may have to hold it in the same hand as you guys. Now I am using my intervalometer so I can just snap a couple of photos. This is, you know what? Oh my God, this is so hard. Can my assistant please help me when she's taking that photo? Mm. Is that a no comment? <laughs> Sorry I'm focused right now. Okay let's wait for Grace to finish her photograph and then I'll bring you guys back because I can't do this one hand. It's Oh, look at nice style looks. So, what I'm going to do, if, if you can come around here and show the camera. I'm just watching out, I don't want to kill that mushroom. Like that. So, oh. I've zoomed in, if I hold the slight here on my leg, I've zoomed in and I am going to focus right on the very tip. Hopefully you guys can see that. Let me zoom in a bit more. God, this is so difficult. Right, I'm focusing right on the tip and I'm going to take a series of photographs, taking my focus further back and further back. Are you focus stacking? And yes, Grace knows. I'm going to focus stack those images. Oh, I'm destroying my background and my So, area. let's get this photograph. I forgot you had that. Okay, now let's... Take our focus back just a tiny touch and then take that photograph and again 
try not to knock the camera too much because it, although Photoshop will auto align these photographs it's best to try and get it as good as possible take that photograph and then one more I think I've moved my focus too much there okay about there take that photograph and let's see if I need just one more that's a lovely mushroom though, I've got to say. Okay, right there, take that photograph. And now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the light directly above. You see how the inside of the mushroom all lights up? Should I take a photo for you? And that will be my light painting. But you know what? Maybe if I get a photograph about there, take it, take that. And I'll get another one about here, take that. And then one more. It doesn't matter if my hand is in shot because that won't be in the picture. Um, let's see if I can dim this light a bit more. Okay, can you take that shot? And there we go, that's my series of photographs for... Uh. <laughs> What are you laughing at? Oh! Don't press the button, I'm trying to look at the photos. Okay. I'll hold that you for hold you. that for me, yeah. So I got one with a light. Let me move here so that light isn't in the camera. I got one with a light from above, so. There's a crumb on the screen, he's bugging me. So basically, all of the outside, the really overexposed areas, you won't see. You'll only see the inside when I light paint that in Photoshop. I'll try and sh show you me doing that live through Photoshop to see if see if, if I can do it but then these ones they are just like for my focus stacking or you know I may actually use one of these two probably this one because it's so dark in the foreground but I'll do something with it hopefully it'll turn out well um, Grace is gonna try and get a photo of the mushrooms here now that one. we'll put on screen any photos we've just taken uh, obviously our name will be next to the photograph any advice Please let us know in the comment section and let us know what you think of these photos, guys. Are you going to record me taking the photo of that one? Oh, okay. Come on, then. <laughs> Put my camera. Have your camera. That okay, I need to me. set up first. Let's grab this light. Right, Grace will get set up and we'll bring you back. <laughs> Still have my mask on. Okay, so I have done all my settings. Shutter speed, one fifth of a second, f-stop 9.0, ISO 400, and when I look at my photo through the screen, it looks dark but it also looks really lovely. Now what I'm going to do is zoom right the way in and look at the mushroom to see and make sure it's perfectly in focus, and once I've got that, I snap the photo. Hmm, I think it's a bit out of focus, but with some editing and cropping, that would make a nice photo. Take it again, make sure, try and get one in focus this time. <laughs> yeah, so I believe that is out of focus. What I am going to do is try and lie down a bit more so I can fully see what I'm doing. Focus like that. I think I moved. I can't tell if it's on focus on this screen. Zoom in. Zoom in to it. No, wh that's wh out of focus. when you're taking the photograph. Yeah, that's what I do. Yeah, zoom in and check to see. And when you think it's in focus, then just no. you don't have to zoom back out, just snap the photo. You see, neither of us are professionals. We are learning as we go along. And what I find is we're both giving each other advice here, yeah, as well as reading your comments. So keep the advice coming, it's brilliant. I snapped love three it. photos just in case, so I zoom in on that one, perfectly in focus. Let's have a look. After some cropping, editing and of course vignetting, love adding that to my photos, I'll have a really nice mushroom photo. I'll put it up on screen now, let me know what you think. And then we'll bring you back if we find more mushrooms. Fingers crossed.
Ow, just blind me. <laughs> so, we've been walking around for quite some time. As you can see, the light is fading fast. Um, we can't really find that many more mushrooms. I'm not going to find any now that I've been blinded. You know, this could very possibly be one of those videos where we just come away with one photograph each. I'm hoping mine doesn't fail because I should have just taken a nice photograph. Oh my god, look how old that can lid is. That's a can lid? Yeah, that's the old ring poles. Damn. Oh, wow. <laughs> but yeah, um, I should have just taken a nice photograph of... Hold on, let me sort this light out. It's, it's, it's a bit bright. There we go. So, I think I should have just taken a photograph, just one nice photograph rather than trying to go, go all out and me wanting to go one step further and make a light painting or a mushroom light painting with it. But this is still a fun adventure. I might be able to get one good photograph out of what I got. Grace has taken a couple of photos and I got a feeling that's not at all scary. <laughs> I can't even see you all I see it's like a white light. <laughs> but yeah, um, we're bound to have one or two nice photos anyway, but we're gonna keep looking up around this area, then we're gonna head down that way to go home. Hopefully you guys can see this alright and it's not too dark. I can't even because see I blinded myself. We should have come out earlier in the day. But the owls will be out soon. Oh actually that reminds me, I do wanna say. If our videos are slow, please, please be with us. Um, we can't record during the weeks because Grace is in school. Which sucks. Um, I don't want to come out on my own. I want this to be our adventures together. This whole channel is about both of us being together. Um, the weekends, we, if we're not doing anything as a family, we will be out, but it's hard. So please be with us. If the uploads are slow, we are trying our best to get them out as quick as we can. But in the meantime, I see loads of trees with poop on it. I think the owls... Um, owls must, must on them the night. Yeah, the owls are nesting here, aren't they? So hopefully, if we stay for long enough, the owls will wake up and we may just hear them. Fingers crossed. But look at this. This is actually quite... quite scary. Really? This is magical. This isn't scary. This is amazing. <gasps> I'm joking. Wow. <laughs> anyway, yes. sorry guys. Um, we're going to keep looking for mushrooms. If we find any more, we'll bring you back. If not, Ooh, we'll bring you back when we're heading out of here. So, we'll see you in a minute. Okay, so Grace has just spotted. Hi. There she is. She has just spotted this teeny, teeny, tiny little mushroom right here. And I hope you guys can see that on the video. <laughs> um, I am going to try and get a photograph of it with my extension tube. Oh, I'm going to sit down, get myself comfy, make myself at home, you know. Can you shine the light more? Do you need it to be more warm? Right there, right there. Should it be more warm? I can, we can try it warmer. No. Not too warm. There. About there, yeah. So, hang on, wait, hang on. It isn't comfy in my hands. Is that alright lighting? Yeah. And I'm not sure if I'm recording at a good angle, so apologies for that. We can't see what we're doing on our screen because it's broken. Okay. Can you pass me your extension tubes? Are yes, in yes. Your pocket? Yes. Hi. <laughs> Just you got them? raiding my daughter's pockets for the extension tubes because this extension tube is ex is too much. So I'm just gonna add because this one is the, I think it's 32, 36 millimeter. So it's too much, so I'm gonna lower it down to the 20 millimeter. Shouldn't really be putting my equipment on the floor, but hey, time in the moment, right? I honestly think we should buy like a little foldable rubber mat that we can put on the oh, floor. Also, a lot of you have suggested we use a bean bag to put our cut camera on the floor. It's a great idea. We haven't got one yet, but we will. I'll either make one and fill it full of dry rice, or we'll just go ahead and buy one off eBay or something. I'll end up eating it so, if you do that. 
Let me see here. Oh, I can feel spider webs all on my face. Oh, that's going to look nice. It's very dark in the background though. Can... Is, I think it's all Let the way up. See. Let me... Okay, okay, you hold that on the mushroom. Uh huh. And if I try and shine my torch into the background, to light the background up a touch. Yeah. There's a vineyard. Sorry, I just got attacked by a bug again. Okay. <laughs> oh, you, oh, my like. Are you able to hold my intervalometer in this hand? Um. Can you feel the button? Uh, uh, yeah, you're yeah. on the button. So when I tell you to take the, the things we do for the <laughs> photography, when I tell you to take the photograph, can you take it for me, please? No. <laughs> Joking. Well, this is difficult because I'm shaking. I'm in the most uncomfortable position ever right now. Right, I'm just making sure that I'm in focus. It's the lighting still all right. That's good there. Um, Oops, sorry. Okay. Light that up in the background if I can. And snap. Brilliant, let's have a look. I accidentally took quite a few. <laughs> oh, actually, you know what? Oh, wow, look at how green the moss looks. I think that looks beautiful. Right, I'm getting up because I'm in pain. Okay. Um, we're gonna keep looking. Look how dark it is here now, guys. Look, I mean, look, wow. It, the light is fading super fast. I think the light has faded. So, I, we're gonna keep looking. We're gonna try and get one more mushroom shot before we go because I don't want it to just be one or two photos. I really want to get a photo with my fluorite as well. Okay, so we'll keep going. Go. We'll bring you guys back soon. It's dark. It is. Okay, this is possibly the last photograph now, guys. It's very late. It's very. I know, dark. like, this is how dark it is without a light, and that's with a light. Extremely dark. But there's a cluster on this branch here. I'm carrying Grace's rubbish. I don't want to leave it behind. But I kind of like how these look. Should I add more of a warmer light, like that? Yeah. Um, the only trouble is we're taking photographs at night like this. Background's too dark. The background is very dark. Hey, I wonder how it looks with the light shining through them. Well, you could give it a go. Nah. Whoa. <laughs> Careful! I don't know if you guys can see on the screen. I'm not even sure if I'm recording but at the right angle, so... But I think... Oh, I see more mushrooms over there. Oh. What? That Ooh. actually turned out a lot nicer than expected. Slightly out of focus though. So I'm gonna, going to zoom in just to make sure they're in focus. I heard the noise in the tree. Could be an owl. Okay, and... Wow. That's actually quite nice. That is. There you go. And those, so, yes. those right by there. Don't forget to pick up my rubbish. Don't want to leave that I behind. I know, I will. So, these photos may not turn out the best. It's very hard doing it at night. If it was daytime and everything around it was lit up, we'd have the nice background in the shot. But we're going to make our way home now. It's getting late. Grace needs a, a shower because there's school tomorrow. Oh, great. So, uh, yeah. If I see any more mushrooms along the way, I will be sure to... Get a photograph and now you can't see me. I hear noises in the trees. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, we're gonna head down this way. If you can see that. Down this way. Down this way. Down this way. Through the creepy dark woods. Through the creepy dark woods. And slowly make our way home. Let's go. Bye. Bye. She's leaving me behind again. Okay, so so we are on our way back up. <laughs> I'm trying to hold this light. Just shine it. 
Okay, so we are on our <laughs> way back out. I can't see anything around it's us. It's uh, <laughs> <laughs> This is impossible. Okay. It's very dark. I don't know if you can tell, but it's very, very dark. We're on our way back out. No more photographs. It's just too dark. Um, I can't believe we didn't think of it earlier. Ow. But where the background wasn't quite lit up, we could have just used the flash. Didn't even think of it. Um, yeah, we're heading home. If we see anything else along the way, like I said, we'll try. But if not, I do hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much to everyone for your kindness, for the support you're all giving. And thank you once again, Sean, for sending the flash gun. It's an amazing generosity. We can't thank you enough. Also, this is my fluorite I was talking about earlier. Oh, yes. Chris's fluorite. Didn't manage to get a photo with it, but I will. I hope that's so. not too bright on the camera. <laughs> Because, again, there's no screen on the back of this me. camera. Um, we're going to head this way, this way to try and head home. Not that way. What's that? What? Quick, quick. What? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> oh, you're not bad. <laughs> but, yeah, um, we're going to head home. Thank you so much for watching. Get out there and make some memories, guys. And we'll see you in the next video. Take it easy, guys. Okay, so here we are in Lightroom and you'll have to bear with me guys because this is the first time I have ever done anything like this recording myself editing. But I'm going to go ahead and edit the first of my photographs. As you can see, I have five of them here, but I'm only going to select the one and develop it. Now, it's a little bit overexposed with the uh, oranges and the temperature I feel is fine but I'm gonna go down and reduce some of those yellows and oranges right off the bat because that's a bit too much now already that's looking way better but the highlights I feel are still a little too much um, the back the background all the blacks and the shadows I feel they could do with being lifted slightly because I don't want to make it too bright and I, I want to keep some of the moodiness of the picture if, if, if that makes sense um, maybe a little bit more contrast mm, maybe the exposure should go down and such now the reason I'm doing this is because I want to get the main focus of the picture to be underneath the mushroom cap mainly being the uh, the glowing effect of the mushroom now, I do also feel this couple of things like this over here is right on the border and I don't like the way it looks. And also the mushroom I'd prefer to be over here on the rule of thirds. So I'm going to bring it in and position my mushroom right about there. Now, I don't mind so much about this bokeh up here. I actually really like that bokeh effect. It's really pretty. So I'm going to hit that. And maybe bring it in a little bit more there's this tiny little leaf that's peering in on the corner on the edge i mean and i like to call that border control and i think that looks so much better i can still kind of feel like some of this is a little too bright so i am going to bring maybe bring down my sh no, my shadows are fine. Maybe it's the exposure. Yes, I like that. I like that. So I'm happy with that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, highlight all of these. And I'm pretty sure if I remember this correctly, like I said, bear with me, I'm not... An expert on any of this I am actually still learning so maybe you know what let me figure this out I'll be right back okay apologies for that guys um, I was struggling to find how to sync all of these settings with the rest of these pictures because as you can see they are all overexposed whereas this one is exactly how I want it 
Now, if I was to go in and do all of these settings individually, yes, it would be a nightmare and it would take a very long time. And the, the chances of me getting some of the settings wrong are very, very high. So if I just click on the first image that I have already edited and then go ahead and shift click on the last image so that they're all highlighted, go ahead and hit on sync and just press synchronize. And as you can see, all of these images now have the exact same settings. Now, one more thing I want to do is this one. Now, this is my glowing effect picture. These two are just random, two random ones, which I may or may not use, but this is the one I want to concentrate on. Now, I'm not too bothered about the rest of the picture because all we are going to get in shot is whoops is the main area this this is all we're going to get in shot is the underneath of the cap and some of the stem i understand it's out of focus i could probably go ahead and enhance it right here and this can give it a super resolution to just to make some of the inside pop a little bit. It's going to take a little while, as you can see, it's rendering up in the corner there. And there we go. So this now has a bit more detail added into it. Of, of course, when you enhance something to that magnitude, you are going to get a lot of grain in the image, as you can see down here. So I need to remove some of that grain, not too much. I don't want too much of the grain to be, uh, the details to be lost. So I can pop the details up and just add a little bit of noise reduction. And that should do there. Now, my next step is reducing how harsh this light is, because it is very harsh. You don't realize when you're in the field but somewhere around there. Now that actually looks really good. Maybe make some of, bring some of the yellows down and make the orange pop a little bit more. And also bring some of the whites down. Now that looks good, I'm happy with that. So I am going to go ahead and choose all of these and my edited uh, uh, glowing effect <laughs> picture. Sorry, guys. And I'm going to go ahead and export those. Now I'm going to export these as a TIFF image. So then I can go ahead and open them up into uh, into Photoshop and actually I've just realized something. I forgot to add the crop into this, but it's okay because Photoshop will be able to auto line them for me. So I'm going to go ahead and load Photoshop and we'll take it from there. Okay, now that we're here in Photoshop, I'm going to go ahead, hit file and go ahead and hit scripts and load files into stack. Now from here, here are the pictures that I exported and I'm going to select all of those and I am going to click on attempt to automatically align source images and hit OK. Now what this usually does is it leaves some artifact in, in the picture like white lines around the place which can't be helped unfortunately because they Actually, I, got, I just realized some of these look like they're the wrong. Yeah, you know what? That's good enough. I'm happy with that. Let's just, first of all, bring the crop in because that is ridiculous. I'm going to bring that into about there. And let's see how we look with this. I'm still learning Photoshop as well, guys. Please bear with me. Okay, so let's uncheck all of these just to make sure the glow effect, yes, it's 
perfectly lined up. Okay, so the crop does still need to be brought in a fair bit. Let's bring that into about there. And this side needs to come in just a touch. And I'm not sure if the bottom, yep, that's all looking good. Hmm, actually no, the top still needs to be cropped. I don't know if you guys can see this, but right at the top here, there's a line going across. You may just about be able to make it out, but I'm not a fan of that. So I'm gonna crop that in to about there. Okay, it still needs cropping a little bit more. Just a touch on that side, a touch on that side, and a touch on top. Because I can still see the transparent layer underneath right on the very tips. And that should be good there. So what I'm going to do now, all of these images, I am going to merge into one. Um, how do I do that? You see, you see, I'm still learning. I'm still learning. Now I've got all of those selected, just the ones I want to stack and you hit, hit edit. I believe it's auto blend layers and we stack the images like this. Hit OK. Now this is where it can cause our artifacting, where it shows white lines, but that doesn't show in the final image. But there we go. Now if we zoom in, we can see that it is stacked from back right to the front. That's perfect. That is perfect. Okay. Um, let's fit that back onto the screen. Now, this is where I want to merge these images into one. Is it this button? Nope. See, I'm still learning, guys. Um, I don't think it's link. Merge layers. Ha, there we go. I did it on screen. Okay, now I'm going to put this one up here. I'm going to create a new mask layer. And I'm going to hit Control and I to invert it. And I'm going to select a paintbrush, make sure that white is selected. And this is where we start the light painting. Now, this is, you've got to be careful how you do this. I'm going to go with around 150 pixels on the brush. Um, hardness is at 0%. Opacity I've got at 50 and I'm just gently going to start painting in the underneath of the mushroom Just where it just where the light Comes in I make it look like it's glowing ever so subtly. Ah, see you I've gone over the edge there. That's not what I want and now It's messed up this happens to me a lot. I don't know why there we go now just gently, gently trying not to go over the edges, which I probably will do. This is not going to be professional, not like you've probably seen some of those amazing photographers do, guys. But I'm learning. It's a start, right? And that's... Oh, I forgot to undo that bit over there. Okay. I had to, okay, I don't understand why that's white over there, but basically, this is it. Uh, glowing mushroom effect. Just like that. I don't understand why this bit is white. Anyway, I'm going to work on this, and then I will show you the final result. And that is going to be it from us, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Get out there and make some memories. And I'll see you guys in the next video.